Hey, this is Matt with CT Sounds. Want to go over the CT 4.1D? Going to do an overview of it, what we think makes it stand out. We're going to do an amp dyno, show you what it can do. Uh, to start off, this is a Class D monoblock amplifier. It's rated 400 watts at 1 ohm and 300 watts at 2 ohm. And that's what we think makes this amp stand out is its versatility with different setups. So another cool feature is its compact size. It can fit many different places. It has four gauge speed, uh, power and ground terminals, two 35 amp fuses, and 12, or 12 gauge speaker terminals. Over here on this side, you have your power and protect light, your remote for your base knob, and you have input RCAs, and then this amp is strappable, so you have your ins and outs for that. And over here are your variable adjustment controls from your gain, low pass filter, subsonic frequency, and your bass boost. So as I was saying, we think this amp is pretty cool because it's versatile with many different setups at 1 ohm and 2 ohm. Uh, you're going to need to know how to wire that. So in our manual here, we have different ways to set up and configurations. So if you want to come in here and check it out, let's get into it. So here on the manual, in pages 8 and 9, we have the monoblock wiring diagrams. Over here is how to wire to 1 ohm. Over here is how to wire to 2 ohms. And one of my personal favorites would be two 250 watt subs at four ohms uh, wired to one ohm load in this configuration. All right, so what all comes with this amp is the manual, some mounting screws, the base knob and the cables, as well as decals and a thank you card. So we have the CT400 hooked up to the test bench here. We're gonna run the amp dy dyno on it for certified, uncertified and dynamic. Uh, we're gonna run that at one ohm, two ohm and four ohms. So let's get into it. So we're gonna do a certified dyno run here uh, into one ohm. Our resting voltage is 14.59 volts. Let's see what it'll do. Five hundred and eight watts into one ohm at fourteen point four one volts. So now we're going to do an uncertified dyno run into 1 ohm at 14.59 volts, starting out. Five hundred and seventy-five watts into 1 ohm at 14.35 volts. So now we're going to do a dynamic power test at 1 ohm. Six hundred and eighty four watts into one ohm at fourteen point three nine volts. Here we go with a certified dyno run at two ohms. Three hundred and eighty seven watts into two ohms at fourteen point three seven. Here we go with an uncertified dyno run at two ohms. Four hundred and thirty three watts into two ohms at fourteen point three three volts. Here we go with a dynamic run at two ohms. Four hundred and fifty five watts into two ohms at fourteen point three seven volts. Here we go with the certified dyno run at four ohms. Two hundred and forty one watts into four ohms at fourteen point four five volts. Here's an uncertified dyno run at four ohms. Two 
261 watts into 4 ohms at 14.43 volts. Here's the dynamic run at 4 ohms. Two hundred and sixty six watts into four ohms at fourteen point four five volts. So, going over the numbers, the CT four hundred is well underrated, doing over five hundred watts RMS at one ohm and over four hundred watts RMS at two ohms. Like I said earlier, my favorite pairing with this amplifier would be two two hundred fifty watt subwoofers that are dual 4 ohm voice coils uh so if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe and be on the lookout for new videos